Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to tell you about the patch command. So let's start. The command will be in surface. Then go to the combine group. And then go to more. Then here you will find command of patch. As per the definition, it is going to modify a solid or sheet body by replacing faces with the faces of another sheet. That means through this command, we can modify either a solid or a sheet body. And we are going to use the sheet bodies as tools. So let's understand the interface first. So here is the target and in the select body, we can either choose the sheet body or the solid body. And then we have tool and in tool, they have specified that they are going to select only the sheet body. Okay, so please keep that in mind that while using the tool, the sheet body should be selected. Otherwise, it is not going to pick the solid body. Let me just show you. As you can see, this is the tool and they have specified select sheet body and this is the solid body, which is in green color. So you can see I'm unable to select that. So you have to be very careful while performing the operation. Then we have the target region to remove. I'll show you through the demonstration, then the tool direction phase. Now let's start with the demonstration. So basically we are going to cover the three parts, basic understanding of the command, then what is loop understanding. And at last we are going to understand on the advanced options. Now let's start. So first I'm just going to have the basics. So for basics, I'm just going to have the patch command. Just go to patch command. And here they are saying as to select the body. So I'm going to select the red colored body and Along with that, just let me just show you something. This is the body and this is the sheet which I have created. Just unhide this. So you can see there is a sheet body here. So I'm just going to select that sheet body. Now here we can reverse the direction. So first this is the basic direction and I'm just going to show the result. So this is the first option. And if I just undo the results and reverse the direction in the upward. So here. If I just click on show results, it will be the result. This is the second option. Now, what is meant by reverse direction? So here you can see if the direction is upward, that means the command will remove the part in the upward direction. Like if I just click on show results, so it has removed the upward part. And if I just reverse the direction, then it will remove the downwards part. So this is the importance or significance of this arrow. Now just click on OK. So this is the first example. Now understand the second example. So here again, just go to the patch command. The short key is F4 for the last repeat command. Just uh, click on this. And here again, I have a sheet body. Just let me show you that. So this is the sheet body, which I have created through using the extrude. Along with that, I have given some draft. So now I'm just going to select that sheet body. And here, just click on make hole in solid target. So I'm just going to click on that and click on OK. Now you can see we have created a hole using that surface. So this is how you can make holes using the sheet. If you have any, this is just for the reference that if you have any surface in the reference and you want to create a cutout from a solid body, then you can use this command. Now let's uh, again go to the patch command. Here in this case, this is a surface. Just let me just show you through the control plus H. Now you can see this is entirely hollow. That means it's a surface and uh, we are having a solid body in yellow color. And this is the surface body. I'm just going to unclip this. Now again, go to the home or surface, then press home. Now again, go to patch command. Just go to patch. And here they are saying as to select the body, the solid body will fall under the target. And in the tool, we are going to select the sheet body. Now just untick this and click on show results. Now you can see earlier, let me just show you earlier it was like this. This is the solid body, this is the sheet body. But after applying the patch command, now they both are solid. Let me just show you. So now you can see clearly that both are solid now body color and click on okay both are solid now patch basically merge the body but where it is taking the merging in the tool we have to select the sheet body okay so this is how we can use that 
now let's understand some more about this. Now in this batch, I'm just going to reverse the direction. Just reverse the direction and click on show results. Now you can see this has become solid. So basically we get two combinations for the patch. Inward direction and the outward direction. And I have just shown you with both the directions. Let's have some deep understanding. That what do you mean by deep understanding? Basically there comes an error. Now first just let me show you something. So basically I'm just going to increase the translucency. So this is enough. And you can see here is a sheet body in the dark color. And in the light color you can see here is a solid body. Now. I want to apply the patch command here and just go to patch. I'm just going to select this and here I'm just going to select this. Now click on show result. You will get the results like this. This is a solid now. Earlier it was a sheet body. Now I'm just going to cancel this. Now in this case I'm just going to disturb the value for this. So I'm just going to have 340 and click on OK. Now I'm just going to apply the patch command here. This and this and click on short results. Now it will give you an error. The error says that tool sheet edges are not close to target body or do not form a closed loop. That means for using the patch, there should be the closed loop of the sheet body. Otherwise, it is not going to get formed. Okay, so you have to be very careful regarding the sheet body. Now we are going to get some more understanding about the patch just go to patch and here i'm just going to select this and this this is basically for the sheet understanding like here we were using the solid body and the sheet solid body and the sheet solid body sheet solid body sheet now here we are going to apply the sheet sheet okay so here is the first case so i'm just going to click on show results now you can see earlier it was like this and now it is like this click on apply and i'm just going to have this and this Click on show results. So again, you can see tool sheet edges are not close to target body or do not form a closed loop. So I'm just going to reverse the selection. Here, I'm just going to pick this as target and this is going to be tool. Now click on show results. And in this case, I'm just going to reverse this and click on OK. So this is how you can use the patch. So that is all regarding the patch command. If you have any confusion regarding the patch command, do comment below and let us know. If you have learned something new from this video, please do hit a like, share this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you so much.